What, what have you driven you, before that? A 350Z. A 350Z? Oh, okay. Yeah, I still have it. I'll beat you in the Z too. Yes, that was the intro. Um, my boy who has a 500 horsepower Z and a thousand horsepower Mustang or something like that, whatever Ford told him, he wanted to race me. But guys, right now we're at Funsen. They're having a dope event. It's a lot of BMWs. We got a couple mu American muscle cars right here. Uh, my next vlog is gonna be on Wednesday and you're gonna be seeing me filming Luis. You guys remember Luis had an orange BMW. <laughs> But he actually went to American Muscle side and he got this gorgeous thing over here. Anyways, guys, at Funtin, gonna have a good time, film, walk around, meet some people. MFR is here, obviously, Canada's here, and a whole bunch of BMWs and a whole bunch of cars. And you guys gotta watch that weird intro. I don't know if that's even gonna be the intro or we're gonna put it at the end. I don't know. We're gonna let Julio decide because that was weird. It's so, manual. Yeah. It's manual. Or it, it, it's how manual. much horsepower? I mean, it, you came up to my car thinking that it's stock. How much horse? How much it's horse? a roll cage, it's about 200 horsepower. Horse? <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, yeah, it's nah. 200, dude. You'll still lose. What is what, what, your car? How fast is your car? What have you, what have you driven with 530 horsepower? Yeah. What? What, what have you driven before then? It's a 350Z. A 350Z? Oh, okay. Yeah, I still have it. I'll beat you in the Z too. <laughs> <laughs> so you drove a 350Z that had 500 horsepower? No, no, no. I, so you, no, you, you drove a you drove a Z that had 220 horsepower. And then you drove and then you drove a car that had 350 horsepower. And then you thought it had 500. I mean, it just all looks a V6. Six cylinder. Yeah, yeah six cylinder. I, I knew it was a six cylinder. I knew it was six cylinder. Six cylinder. Yeah. 300 No, it's not 300. No, it's like 297. 297. 297. Oh, 297. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what it is. Sure. Yeah. I mean, if you ever want to race it, I mean. Whatever you're ready, dude. He has a helmet and everything. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I got a cool sticker in the back, too. So look at that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a cool license plate and everything. Yeah, man. I mean, we do a pure track on uh, if you want to do time September attack. 9th. We do September 9th, and then we also have Erudo every Thursday, mm -hmm. and then we also I have roll race. Yeah, I haven't. I just I got it like a month ago, so I haven't. You, got, you haven't drove the car in? You're on a race, me? No, no, I haven't. No, 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 I have. It's like 2,000 miles. 2,000 miles. But I haven't raced Stop. on a track. I haven't done it on a track. No, no. And you thought you're gonna beat me with no knowledge of racing on a track? Oh, yeah. I have knowledge. Hey, dude, hey, bro. Dude, hey, I Gran Turismo hey, Gran Turismo forced it to hey, knock dude, out. My, my <laughs> it does, a little bit. My was a track car. A track car? I've been on the track. Too? I've been on the track, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got yeah, yeah. a roll cage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I had a track Z twin turbo. It was in the car. 500 horse. The roll cage was in the car. The roll cage was in the car. It was in the car. So I want to make sure. I know, I know. One of the biggest questions I get of driving this car semi daily, I think we broke, we used to be a daily, now it's semi daily. Is how do I not get pulled over, ticket, and stuff like that? And it's not driving how I just drove because literally I just we flew past a cop and he actually didn't stop or he didn't stop us, obviously. But uh, that's normally why I don't get pulled over. I feel I don't like drive like a jackass. People say, like, oh, the less you drive a car, the less chance you have to get a ticket. I don't feel it's accurate because the less I drive this car, when I drive it, I want to drive like a jackass, and I normally don't do that when it's a daily drug driver. But, anyways, I just want to talk about that. So, let's get back to Foonton. All right, so we're back at Foonton. Pick up the team, talk to Lewis, let him know that I'm walking around. Damn, that was a lot of Lexus. Let him walk around, vlog real quick, get some content for you guys, and then we're gonna go film him. I'm gonna make that a separate vlog because he went from a transition into American Muscle, so I wanna see what he likes pros and cons, what he likes better, what's it like worse about the American Muscle, and cool stuff like that. Arrow's new, right? The front, the front end? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Let more, him know. More aggressive. We had some track days, and I didn't like the way my car was feeling because I had too much rear downforce, so I upgraded my front, made it more aggressive. To, uh, compensate for the rear. What about the diffuser? Tell me about the, I like the diffuser. I've already seen the yeah. diffuser, so I'm gonna have him show you guys the diffuser real quick. But uh, diffuser, we uh, we added more of a pitch. Uh, That's I'm trying to trying to show people in the global time attack industry that hey, you know, it's possible to do it with us too. You know, I mean, we do cater to a lot of people. You guys know we did Yost's 25 hour enduro race car. If you guys are new to the channel, you guys are aware MFR Mike from MFR take from MFR. They do all my aero on my car, so anything aero on my car, except for my canards, they do make them, but I, yeah, Steve Christie's my boy, so I wanted to rep his brand also, but that's the fuse that I'm talking about. I thought mine looks aggressive. That thing is aggressive as hell. That diffuser is amazing. I really haven't talked about this on camera, but Mitch was back into my car, and he completely bent like three of my fins. Shout out to you, Mitch. You're the man, but anyways, I let Mike know I need uh, some new fins, and then we're gonna go after the uh, car event. Oh, he's about to stand on it. We're gonna do the diffuser oh. challenge. Everybody stands on their splitters, stand on the diffuser. 
I ain't standing much in the future. I, <laughs> I think it'll hold, but you know what I mean? We'll leave that to Mike, the little, little slender there. Let's go walk around, let's see where uh, Ken is at, and then check out some cars. All right, brother. All right, bro. I'll see you. My boy over here, my boy over rocking the big Wayne gang, Mr. Said News out here. This is uh, one of my homies from Instagram. He also gets work from MFR. This is a really, really dope build, actually. I like how he took his time for this build. He really just throw parts on. Like everything on here has a reason, a purpose. Like I built my car, and I love the red interior. I think if I didn't have a track car, I would have red interior. But since I know it's a track car and it's going to get beat up, uh, I really didn't really focus on the interior too much. But the way it sits, the way everything is, the big wing. Shout out to my boy. I believe his Instagram is right there. Give him a follow if you would like. All right, so we got the driver of this complete raced out BMW. You want to let them know who you are on your Instagram? Hey guys, my name is Samantha Tan. I'm a Pirelli World Challenge driver. My Instagram is at Samantha Tan. So as we were talking before we started filming, because it gets weird if someone comes to your face with a camera. And like, what got you into racing? My dad was a big influence. He's a big car guy. He used to like take me to watch races and stuff. So that was a big influence. And then it wasn't until like I sat in my very first race car. It was a 458 Challenge. I got taken out for a hot lap with a pro driver. And I just remember having the biggest smile on my face coming out of it and it just made me want to race myself. Why BMW? Why BMW? I've always been a big BMW fan. Um, again, my dad's a big influence. Uh, he used to drive me to school every day in his E36 M3. So I just fell in love with BMW. Alright, cool, cool. <laughs> Anything else like, alright, so about the car, obviously you picked the BMW because you love the BMW. Mm -hmm. But is there a certain thing you love about the BMW, whether it be motor, or there's a fill, maybe this, I know a lot of people thrive off the suspension of the BMW. Is there anything like you just love about the BMW other than it just being a BMW? Is that German engineering? <laughs> that German man? V8? I drive, I drive American Muscle V8 and yeah, that German engineering V8. Honestly. And is this naturally aspirated? Uh, this is turbo. Okay. Boosted? Um, pardon? Boosted? Nope. This is actually all stock. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, stock yeah, turbo? Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, so, all right. Um, other than that, honestly, this handles like a dream, and that's why I love it. <laughs> that's awesome. Can you like, you be a favor, like walk around, maybe show like two of your favorite parts about this car? Yeah. I see you use it like 100. percent I assume this is a wrap, right? Yes. Yeah, this is awesome. You can tell this thing gets used, and she enjoys it. She loves it. I think that's amazing. I'll let her know about the Camaro, but it's definitely not this full force of a track car. But once you let them know, like, I'll you, take like, you inside. Actually, All right, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Okay. So. So, as you can see, this door is very like, Full carbon fiber door, huh? Yep. So, literally, the seat doesn't move. The only thing that moves is the steering wheel and the pedals. Um, when I sit in the car like this, I can't see over the dash. So, we've actually made a custom seat. I don't have it in here right now. But since my, my teammate and I were doing enduro races, we switched halfway through. And that's why they put a seat insert so it's easy for me to get in right when I need to. And if you want to look at the wheel, yeah. that wheel um, is amazing. Yeah, I love this wheel. It's awesome. This is left signal. This is right signal. This is your pit lane speed limiter. Um, this is for water, actually. We don't have that installed in our helmets, but you can use that if you want to. Um, this to clear any dash. This is for the radio. And then over here, we've got a different mapping. Um, when it starts, it's on like rain mapping. If you switch it up, it goes to dry. And you've got your uh, traction control settings. That inside is like no, that's 100. That's goals right there, guys. If you guys have ever seen goals before, you just witnessed goals right there. All right, so what I like to do when I have anyone on the channel, uh, words of motivation to female driver, male driver, someone's gonna build a race car, a drift car, any type of build in general. Because pretty sure this took time. It didn't just happen overnight. Actually, this was straight from the factory. Oh, straight from the factory. This is straight from the factory. You can buy an M4 GT4 right from the factory. You do have to go through a dealer, but it comes exactly like this. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, all right. So maybe I'll get on the track then. Okay. It'll be a little different for this one. So if you, so if you, 100, percent I am not, I'm not on, on point with the BMWs yet. All good. But I hang out with Funsen, so I think that gives me like a little leeway here. But maybe just some motivation to get on track of like learning at the car or whatever it is you've learned is becoming you know, a, a driver. Um, yeah, just definitely like take your car out of the track, you know, um, get an instructor, like like me, for example. Uh, and then, she might be know. my instructor, guys, I don't know. Alright guys, dude, I think it's so dope that, for one, I didn't know BMWs came like that, so that's so 
immature myself for not knowing that. Thanks all Julio, you're fired. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I think it's dope that BMWs come on that. Comment down below if you knew that, because I didn't know that they come with a full track car. It's coming to the end of the day now. I had to go film, lose this car. But I want to talk to Kenneth, because he's the one that threw this event. And you guys already know, he's already been on the channel. And I feel this event, he like killed it 100%. There was a lot of people here, some great BMWs here. And got to talk to the owner. What's up? Get in here. <laughs> Yo, tell him how the event was. I'll tell him that it was great. Uh, It, it was great. And he had... <laughs> <laughs> So what's up? Tell me what started the event. Tell me how you feel about the event and when's the next event gonna be because I think it was good. I don't know when the next event is gonna like, be. Oh uh, yeah, there's free food, so guys, I don't know if I'm gonna do yeah, the, free no, food we'll next definitely, time. This is our second one doing free food. Last one we did was a uh, breakfast tri burrito. Was really good. Yeah, yeah tri-tip? Uh -huh. Yeah, tri-tip with fire. Who was that? We need that. I want that for my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> I want that for my birthday. Yeah, that food is really good. Him. Yeah. Uh, the next one, I don't know. We just kind of did this. It was one of those things over beers. Like, hey, let's just throw a meet with uh, BMW CC. Okay. And you killed it. I think you killed it. There were so few dogs I never even seen before. Right. So that's yeah. pretty dope. I, and I was actually, I actually learned something new because that the yeah. race car driver. Oh, uh, yeah, she, yeah, I didn't know the cool. car comes like that. Yeah. So the straight car, from the straight from the dealer. I, yeah, you order it. Chevy, you're tripping. Yeah. You're sleeping. We need a track car straight from the dealer so yeah. I don't have to worry about boosting it and then yep. bring it to your shop for a month. Yeah. But anyways, <laughs> thanks so much for inviting us out. Of course. Thank you. Much love. The full video will probably be in here and then be sent to him on his Instagram. If you want to check out his Instagram, check out the full video. Well, full Instagram video will be on there. But we're off to go film. See you guys on Wednesday. How, how's I doing, bro? Am I a good filmer? I don't want to be in your vlog. What? Bro, Julio, I hate how tall you are, bro. It pisses me off. I'm 5'10 and you're like 6'20. Check this out. <laughs> and the vlog's over.